recently built, uh, where, where we're filming today, is the Praxium, which is a flexible use space for the Liberty community that has a co-working aspect. My name is Mike Vine. Uh, I'm 28. I moved to New Hampshire in August of 2011 from Manhattan. I chose the Free State Project a long time ago. Uh, I, I got involved in the Liberty Movement when I was 13. Um, I did a, uh, a school project where I looked into third parties and decided that Libertarian was, was the one for me and then quickly started reading Reason Magazine. My wife and I, when we would first uh, visit New Hampshire, we were living in Toronto. Uh, and I, I, I remember the first time we came to Portsmouth, it was just, it just clicked. It was, uh, it was just wonderful small town, it was walkable, it had city style amenities, restaurants, uh, nightlife, live music, that kind of thing. And, and we, just, we just felt very comfortable here. Moving from Toronto, we went back to, to New York for a while. Vanessa initially was very skeptical of moving to New Hampshire. When you tell someone in New York that you're thinking of moving to New Hampshire, they figure you're going to the North Pole. But uh, New York was increasingly not offering the things that we actually wanted in our life, like uh, independent businesses, uh, the ability for me to start my business. Uh, my business is called Sentinel Consulting. Uh, we're primarily liberty-oriented. Um, my uh, biggest client is uh, Peter Schiff and his related companies. We were able to essentially be professional uh, libertarians in a lot of ways. We, we write about Austrian economics and try to encourage people to buy gold and silver and uh, make you know, alternative investments and ex explain economics and why the Fed is, is inflating away all our savings and ruining the economy. My business can be found at uh, sentinel.net, that's C-E-N-T-I-N-E-L.net, sentinel like the anti-federalist writer. Uh, I have two partners in, in the Praxium, which are uh, Matt Carano and Tom Hudson, and uh, we've recently built, uh, where, where we're filming today, is the Praxium, which is a uh, flexible use space for the Liberty community that has a co-working aspect, and as well as a community meeting. You know, we provide support for homeschoolers, we, we have artists, we have you know, various uh, people starting businesses here, and sharing knowledge, we have an Austrian study group, and so we're doing all sorts of new and innovative things, and I really think this is um, what I think is sort of Liberty Movement 2.0, is us starting to build our own institutions. People who are interested in the Free State Project and want to get a little bit of a taste, uh, there was a film that was just released called 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire. Uh, it was produced by Vince Perfetto and Bo Davis, who are both uh, early movers, and uh, they basically wanted to create a, like a postcard a way for people to get a sense of what's going on up here. So uh, I would say the first step before you plan your visit or you come out to one of our conferences, just check out the film. And one of the points I like to emphasize is, uh, you know, the internet is, has been wonderful and is probably responsible for the liberty movement being what it is today. But it has its limitations. We're, we're creatures that are evolved to have this face-to-face -face contact to build community by, by seeing people and having incidental interactions. And what the Free State Project is allowed is that to happen. It provides opportunities that you just can't anticipate. With, with the Praxium, uh, we have people coming that are entrepreneurial, enterprising, and they can talk about their ideas. They can say, hey, you know, I'm writing a business plan. I need, I need help. I, you know, I haven't done this before. Or uh, I, I, I want to you know, start a new nano brewery. Who's in? And someone else says, sure. Online, you know, you, even people that you think you, you know really well, if you met them through Facebook and you've never met them in real life, are you really going to jump into a business with them? Do you really feel like you know them? Within New Hampshire, we really get to, get to know each other, warts and all. This past year, in 2014, we had the first annual Free Coast Festival. The uh, Free Coast Festival was centered around a theme of uh, radical entrepreneurship. And we had a series of speakers uh, from the community, from the area, uh, who I consider to be uh, disruptive entrepreneurs, uh, whether it be Earth Eagle Brewings, which is one of the early nano breweries that's really reshaping the, the beer scene out here, or um, uh, the Hotel Portsmouth, which uh, the owner's previous venture, the Ale House Inn, was uh, really the first independent boutique hotel in downtown Portsmouth, competing with all the big chains. Carla gave a wonderful presentation about you know uh, Yankee Hong Kong, 
uh, which is her vision for the seacoast. She thinks that someday maybe Portsmouth will be a free port uh, and, and uh, a, a big city. And, uh, and then Zach Caceres came up uh, from UFM, which is, uh, most people don't know, but Guatemala City has an entire Austrian school university, huge university, the University of Francisco American that uh, was endowed by an entrepreneur who believed in, you know, Mises and Hayek and Austrian school. And uh, there's actually the Ludwig von Mises library and the Karl Menger study room and so on. And they've got busts all over the place. Anyway, so that he works down there and he, he's the head of something called the Startup Cities Institute, uh, where they try to negotiate with third world governments to create sort of free zones, little Hong Kongs. He came up from Guatemala City to give the keynote presentation. It was just it was just a wonderful weekend, and we're looking forward to doing it again. So uh, I think people have a plenty of options. If you want uh, your kind of taste of the edge of winter, you can go to Liberty Forum, and and it's a you know academic, um, uh, very ideas uh, centered event. Uh, but you still get that sense of the community and you know the, the different vendors. Porkfest is that living experiment, the anarchist summer camp. Um, and then in the fall, now we have these two regional events, uh, the Keenvention, uh, if you want to check out Keen, and uh, Free Coast Festival. So uh, there's really no excuse uh, not to pay a visit, and, uh, and you can you know go try them all. <laughs> Collect all four. You can find out more about the Free Coast at freecoast.org.